Welcome to Hacker Trading. This is Harry Swaminathan. And in this video, I want to touch upon probability. We saw in a couple of earlier videos, we saw standard deviation. We saw what a one standard deviation move would look like. And we also saw what a two standard deviation uh, probability is uh, by looking at the Bollinger Bands. Now, probability is obviously a function of uh, volatility as well as the standard deviation as calculated from past prices. So, the calculation of the actual probability is probably a very complex uh, topic, but Think or Swim does a pretty good job about uh, calculating this stuff and it's all behind the scenes. So none of this stuff is really what we have to calculate. Uh, uh, the platform itself does all of this stuff for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at Apple options. So Apple's uh, symbol is AAPL. Apple's last traded price is around 571. And we're going to go into the August series which have about 52 days left to expiry. And if we see here, Apple uh, and what I've done is, in addition to the implied volatility, I've created a column called probability of in the money. And now you can create various columns. You can pre create a column for probability of uh, this option being out of the money, probability of touching and things like that. I just wanted to uh, keep it simple. Let's leave it at probability of this option uh, going in the money. So what this means is we know that Apple's current price is 571. So let's say if we were going to sell this option. So if we were going to sell this option, we would sell 10, uh, 10 contracts of the 510 put and we would collect a premium of $7.50. Now, of course, this is a naked sell. This is a naked put uh, sell, which we would never do, but I just want to explain the concept of probability. And so uh, we are using it as an example. In uh, reality, you would never sell a naked put option unless you had a very good reason for it, which is uh, to pick up the stock at that level. Now, that's beyond the scope of this uh, video, and we've actually covered this in a, in a, on a different video in our module two. So here, we are selling 10 contracts at the 510 strike price when Apple is at, the at, at a level of 571. So if we look at the risk profile, this... Uh, this is what it would look like and what I want to do is bring this a little closer to the middle here and uh, so Apple's currently at 571 our short strike price we are selling this so it's a short option uh, it's a short put so even though it's short it's a short put so a short put is a bullish position so if Apple goes up we make money or if Apple goes down, as long as it doesn't hit the 510 strike price, we would make money. But if you were thinking of selling this put option, uh, you know you're out of the money, so you're, you have probability on your side. You have this much room to be wrong. So even if Apple comes down to 560 or 550 or 540, you can still make your full profit if Apple doesn't come anywhere close to 510. Now, in fact, on this particular case, your break even is at 502. So as long as Apple is above 502 when the series expires, you're going to make money on this uh, trade. But you also want to get an idea of what this means for you. So you know you're out of the money, but you know what are your chances? What are you looking at? So that's exactly what the Think or Swim platform provides you. So bear in mind, this is a complex calculation, but what we have here is this column called probability of in the money. So the strike price we have chosen is the 510 and the probability of this option ending up in the money by the day of expiry on the day of expiry is about 20.84% or 21%. So you can, you can now get a pretty good idea of you know, what are your chances? How likely are you to succeed on this trade? So if you look at all of those situations, then, um, you know, if, if you look at it from that angle here, it gives you a very clear idea that you have an almost 80% chance that your trade is going to make a full profit. And that's exactly why even your 
uh, your reward is also not great because you've got probability. So you, you can't have everything. You either you have a nice reward in which case your risk will be a little higher or you have a small reward but you have a very high chance of the trade working out in your favor. So that's exactly what this situation is. You have a reward of um, this the your maximum profit is going to be seven thousand three hundred dollars but your margin is fifty three thousand so your profit is about fifteen percent on this trade however your your chances are actually about eighty percent so that's how you would look at probability now there's also another way to look at probability and that's using the think of swim platform itself and you click on the probability analysis so what this does is it tells you today the stock price is at 571 and so by the July by the June quarterly expiry it tells you what is a one standard deviation move for Apple similarly if you move to the July series you can see that the one standard deviation move for Apple will have a range between 527 and 614 Similarly, for August, we have a one standard deviation move between 508 and 633. So now you can see that our short option is at 510 and therefore 510 just falls into the one standard deviation range. So that's okay, you don't have to be picky, but you know this will give you a visual idea of where your position stands so you're just inside the one standard deviation range which is fine that's okay if you wanted to be a little bit more safer perhaps you can sell the 505 rather than the 510 and now you'll see that uh, you you'll be just outside of the one standard deviation range so this is how you would look at probability and again probabilistic mindset is very important when we deal with uh, options and when you're dealing with the stock market in general and of course uh, it can never predict what will happen in the future but in general you'll see that stock prices will uh, over a longer period of time it'll it'll statistically tend to uh, stay in line with your one standard deviation or your two standard deviation moves However, that's not to say that in the short run, you could have an outlier of a reading. It's very much possible and it happens all the time. So even though a reading might say uh, a two standard deviation or a three standard deviation move might have less than a 1% chance of occurring, but in the stock market, you do find those outliers. So you do have to be careful about that, but that's, how, that's why you have all kinds of adjustment options available when you're dealing in the options world. When you're dealing in stocks, you really cannot do anything. If you buy a stock and the stock goes down, there is nothing you can do except sell your stock and book your loss. Whereas in options, that's not the case. If you have a, uh, if you have an option that's uh, losing money, you can always put another option that will negate the, the losses of your first position. So there's various strategies and that's exactly what we teach here at Hacker Trading. As you go through the modules, you're going to start from the basics. You're going to understand everything, uh, every little detail about all of these issues. And then we'll be progressing to the intermediate and advanced uh, stages. So this was a primer on uh, probability. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, send us an email at info at hackertrading.com. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.